literally just set the intention. Just declare it to the universe. I now release any and all programming related to lack, scarcity, victimhood. And I now step into a contract of my divine inheritance of abundance. And so it is. That's it. Welcome to Activations with JJ Ascension Message. In today's episode, I'll be discussing the tenets of 5D abundance, as well as bringing through a channeled message in light language transmission from our Lyran Star family, all about our divine state of abundance. This episode promises to be very powerful, and I can't wait to dive in. So let's go. Greetings, dear beautiful star family, JJ here, and I am honored to be with you for another episode of Activations with JJ. Whether you are new or you've been with me for a while, I am so grateful for your willingness to co-create and also love it when you spread the word about my content and what I'm doing to further the frequencies of the new earth. Thank you so much for helping me to create this community Today's episode has definitely been on my radar for a while. Many of you know that the August monthly energy update, which has already been about three weeks ago, mentioned the fact that abundance activation was a huge theme for this month. It's not only a theme for this month, I truly believe it's a theme for these next several months. And one of the reasons why is also connected to another theme for August, which is as starseeds, as way showers, as 5D architects, It's extremely important for us to have the resources we need to build the new earth in the physical. And in order to do that, we have to release any and all programming of lack or scarcity. We have to step into a state of abundance. Now, the interesting thing is, if you heard my story about the concept of abundance, that I have waiting in the wings a Galactic Federation channeled seminar series about abundance, but... They stepped in and told me that before I release that course, that I needed to do some more deep deprogramming and activation at the subconscious levels. And that is where my activating 5D Abundance, a 21-day journey comes in. If this is a new concept to you, or if you you have not heard me talk about it, don't worry. It's It's not been on my radar for very long. In fact, it was just last week when I published an episode that it came forward, and this episode is a little bit deeper dive into what that entails. But essentially what happened was, is I got a download about creating a 21-day journey to activate 5D abundance. Now, the funny thing is, I know there are a lot of other challenges out there with abundance and manifestation, and many of them are 21 days, just like mine. So by no means is it that original in those aspects. However, as I was consulting with my guides, and I'm very particular about what I name my courses, the verbiage that I use, the copy that I use to describe what they do, the words 5D abundance popped in. So I thought what I would do today is kind of be a little bit more in detail about what that means, because why would my guide sake to call it 5D abundance if it wasn't important? Now, Let me take a little side tangent and remind you that if you are interested in participating in this journey, this 21-day journey of activating 5D abundance, you are in luck because if you're listening to this right when I publish it, which is the 22nd of August, you can join for free. This is just something I felt to do intuitively was to release the course to everybody and anybody who wants to take it, and that will last for seven days. After that, you can purchase the course, so have no fear. If you're listening to this way after the time that I actually published the episode later on in 2023, it's okay. You can still click on that link below and you can purchase the course. But I just want to tell you, everything about the course was totally channeled. My guides were directing me the entire way. One of the fun things about it is it includes 21 different light language activations. And I'll be honest, I actually channeled those without 100% knowing and needing to sort of label who it was I was bringing through. I just set the intention that it would be for the greatest and highest good. So I'm really interested to know as you listen to those, as you walk through this journey, 
who it was that you felt coming in. And there's like a comment section on each lesson and each module. So you should be able to do that really easily. There's a whole portal and each day you will get a new email with a link to the new activation and a couple of experiences that I've created for you to do to help you further integrate and anchor those abundance codes into your body and into your world. And it's just going to be a really fun adventure. One of the things that my guides came forward, by the way, is to to not make the course complicated. <laughs> They're like, keep it simple. So if you're worried about, oh man, another thing, I'm like, I promise you, this will not take you much time, but it is meant to be extremely powerful, very condensed energy into like a small package. And just remember that that's quantum healing. That's quantum shifting. It's when we do a whole lot with just a little bit. And that is the name of the game for the new earth. That's what's cool. But I do want to step in and talk for a second, like I mentioned, about what 5D abundance means. Now, I decided I would just tune into my guides and have them bring through, you know, with me co-creating together some information about 5D abundance. And I particularly would like to tune into my guides who are part of the Galactic Federation of Light. Now, in 2022, some of you might remember if you were following me back then that I published a series of podcast episodes called uh, The Prosperity and Economics of the New Earth. And that's something I would encourage you to revisit. I'll put the link below to the playlist because I truly believe that what I'm going to share with you is 100% tied to that. And so I'm just going to drop in here and tap into my intuition and just see what wants to come through with regards to the idea of 5D abundance. And as I do, the first thing that's coming forward is the words, it's not about money. <laughs> it's not about money. And I know that that's true. I'm sure many of you totally understand that. It's really about any energy that is being called in by you. And it could be love. It could be an experience. It could be finances. It could be a, a, a person, a thing, a job. There are many ways that abundance can be defined right? And I think that the, the most important place for us to start when we talk about abundance is to tap into that source of love and that source of our beginnings, the, the divine cosmic source of all things who is here to shower upon us as our divine birthright, any and all abundance that we wish to have. This really circles back into something I've been talking about a lot lately, which is that we are creators of our own reality. And that's something that I dropped in the very last episode I did when I talked a little bit about my sacred initiation journey offering. It's really about calling in that original divine blueprint, which we all have. We just agreed to have veils placed over us so that we maybe forgot about it so we can have certain experiences. But as we are quote unquote, waking up and releasing those veils, we're remembering, hey, wait a minute, if I have or have not, that's really up to me. Because wait a minute, I'm, I'm creating this whole thing. And when we realize that at the core of our being, I think that the most important thing for us to do is to tune into the abundance of love, the abundance of love that is waiting for us to receive it. And this comes from our concept of source, Right? I like to connect it with maybe our divine cosmic mother and our divine cosmic father, if you like to see it that way. Everybody sees it a little bit differently. But essentially, the idea is we're releasing any and all programming that we're being punished because we often carry a lot of religious programming regarding our worthiness and we tend to self-sabotage and reject what's right in front of us because we think we're not worthy of it. And I feel like the number one element in that is the concept of love and so as you open yourself up to more love and I'm not talking about necessarily romantic love I'm talking about love in general you might walk in the forest and feel the love of all the trees and all the plants and that's the love that you could receive but as soon as we sort of block break down I would say the walls around our heart that are preventing us from fully receiving love that's when we also open ourselves up to abundance in all different kinds of forms. So although we often think of the concept of manifesting in abundance as it relates to finances, 
I want you to take a step back from that and I want you to think about how you can open yourself up to love more, both receive and give. So that's one of the first concepts of 5D abundance that I want to bring forward today. Another concept of 5D abundance is that what's dropping in is the idea of rising together, okay? So I think it's it's really an invitation to release any and all programs of competition or competitiveness where we kind of feel like we're in a win-lose situation. If I'm rich, then my neighbor has to be poor. If my neighbor's rich, then I have to be poor. And that really is something that is reinforced by duality thinking, which is very predominant, right, in our world today. You can see it all over the place. So really stepping into unity consciousness will allow you to see that when you look at your friend, neighbor, who is sort of bringing in abundance, you don't have to look at that like, oh man, they got what they wanted and that means I can't get what I wanted. You really have to say, wow, I am so grateful that they're living out their dreams, that they're calling in all of this abundance because what it means is it's contagious. It's literally contagious. And there's two ways, there's two reactions you can have when you see somebody who has manifested what they want, whether you're scrolling through social media, whether you are talking to a friend, whether you're just seeing it from afar, there's two reactions you can have. You can have a reaction from a place of duality which is like a me versus them, that same thing that I just mentioned, or you can have a reaction from a place of unity consciousness where you are grateful that they, they, as a reflection of you, because we are all one, are expanding and that they're getting what they want. Now, this doesn't always mean that you're going to want the exact same thing, but you can honor the fact that they called that in because it was a desire of their heart without judging it, and maybe they're releasing tons of ancestral scarcity and lack by buying that new car or whatever it is that they're manifesting. You have no idea what their role in this life is as a breaker of chains, uh, as a sort of releasing contracts. Many of us hold those. Now, that being said, I'd love to switch to that topic because that's another incredible one. And that is the concept that ancestral work is absolutely part of abundance activation with regards to the 5D. Because if your family line is vibrating at a level of abundance like 3D level of abundance, let's put it that way, or even you know 3D level of lack, whatever it is, it's not going to be as expansive as a 5D frequency of abundance. And how do you shift the frequency of your DNA? You do ancestral work. Because essentially the DNA level or maybe even like smaller than that, but let's just kind of keep it at the DNA level, is the root issue of most of our abundance problems. We are oftentimes carrying programming that we inherited from our family. When we choose through intention, and some people are like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to go to the Akashic Records. Literally just set the intention. Just declare it to the universe. I now release any and all programming related to lack, scarcity, victimhood. And I now step into a contract of my divine inheritance of abundance. And so it is. That's it. Now, if you want to do a ceremony with it, if you want to meditate with it, if you want to go to the Akashic Records and see it more visibly, because maybe you can see through your third eye or you can call in things like that, that's great too. But it's not necessary. Let me tell you a little story, though, about releasing ancestral contracts. If you do work in the Akashic Records, or maybe you just dabble in it or you're trying to figure out how to do it, uh, I do oftentimes have a, a, a signal right off the bat that something is an ancestral contract. Usually what will happen is I see a scroll that is placed before us, and I actually call these things in by asking the Akashic Records keeper of the person, will you please just give us everything that we need to work on today or everything that's for you know, the greatest and highest good of this person. And so they'll hand me something. And sometimes it's a contract in the form of a scroll. 
Now, the way that I know that it's an ancestral contract is the scroll will unroll and it will be very, very long. It could be several meters long and I see lots of names on it. And immediately, and it took me a while before I realized this, because every time I was like, wait, what? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is a bunch of names. This is representing all the generations who agreed to be part of this contract. And the last name on the contract is usually the person. Now they have the choice of sort of releasing the contract on behalf of that ancestral line by simply signing it off and releasing it. Other people release contracts in other ways. And so just, you know, use your intuition on how to do that. But that is an immediate way to know that something's ancestral. It's not always what you think it's going to be as far as is it is it a contract specifically related to money? Not always. It might be a contract related to religious programming, a, re- a contract related to being a martyr, a contract related to unworthiness. So kind of keep an eye on that. Let that drop in. Call that in. Trust your own intuition. If there's anything I could tell you, it would be to begin to lean into your own inner wisdom. You don't have to look outside yourself to get this stuff done, okay? You have it all within you. All right, so those are kind of three interesting concepts that have come forward here as I've tapped into the idea of 5D abundance. I hope that some of those will serve you and you can let those simmer and maybe integrate them a little bit more over these next few weeks. Dropping in now, I'm just going to go ahead and start a little bit of music here as we tune into our Lyran star family. Now, some of you are Lyran star seeds. Some of you might have Lyran guides. Lyran energy was quite strong. It's very connected to Syrian energy. And of course, we just recently had the Lion's Gate portal. The Lyrans have also been coming in quite a bit in my gatherings, and they've been bringing solar codes solar codes and so i'm just going to have you imagine as you drop into a state of meditation and receiving beautiful golden codes coming down over your body and just allow yourself to open as much as you possibly can to receive these beautiful codes almost like you were allowing the pores of your skin to open up and you're absorbing these frequencies. Sitting in this energy, I'm going to begin with some light language from the Lyrans. So just listening and receiving. Dear ones, we come to you as the Lyran Council of Radiant Light, stepping forward to shower down upon your heads codes of abundance and expansion. For this journey is not simply about accumulating. It is about fully integrating your divine inheritance, fully embodying the divine being which you are. We remind you that abundance is not about simply receiving. Abundance is also about giving abundantly. And we encourage you as you set your goals to manifest things, relationships, career opportunities, that you not only think of what you might receive, but you also consider the beautiful ways in which you can give. Give of material objects, give of your love, give of your service, give of your talents. It is truly in both receiving and giving 
that you will find yourself in the frequencies of the 5D. Dear ones, we also remind you at this time to release any and all programming or archetypes connected to being a victim. For if you continue to blame others for your circumstances, it will be very difficult for you to shift into the frequencies needed to access the true expanded version of 5D abundance. It is critical that your awareness allows you to recognize your role in your reality as a creator, as a director as it were, and also as an actor. Once you have empowered yourself and come to the realization that you and only you can determine your destiny, this is when you will truly access the abundance which is most in alignment with the frequency of the desires of your heart. We remind you to open yourself to the codes of the beautiful sun which you have access to simply by walking outside. These codes will further calibrate you to be able to manifest an abundance of love, an abundance of laughter, an abundance of comfort, an abundance of health, an abundance of finances. And that, dear ones, will create the 5D Earth which you seek to be a part of. We close our message with a final light language transmission and offer it with great love. Arriata de Kusha de Raikar, Karata de Yushok, Toroyarai Angarai di Karai Tokoroyana Aisodok Shara Hamiaya. This is JJ. I invite you to come gently back to your body with gratitude and love for this beautiful Lyran Council which stepped forward to provide this message and just allowing yourself to continue to receive in the heart space not only the words which were said but the energy behind the words as we come to the close of this episode again I just would like to express my gratitude for you and remind you that there are many ways we can connect. I would love to connect with you in all kinds of platforms. I have a presence on Instagram and I even have a subscription on Instagram where I do weekly energy update videos for subscribers. I'm also on Facebook and you can find me on the new Instagram app Threads where I like to share my opinion about all kinds of things. In addition to that, I just wanted to drop in and remind you of a few upcoming events. If you're listening to this right after I publish it, I do have sessions available in person in Hermosa Beach, California, if you're in the Los Angeles area, and those I am offering on the 27th of August. In addition to that, I have a beautiful event in Santa Monica 
we'll be doing a cacao ceremony and really assisting you to nourish shame and release and heal through embodied practices, channeled messages, and light language activations. I'll be co-creating that with my friend Shivi. So you can find out more of that more about that from the link below. I'm also offering virtual tickets to our new Golden Age of Lemuria conference, which takes place very soon, the 2nd through 5th of September. And also, I'll be holding my Healing the Inner Star Child workshop, which has a virtual and in-person component, Auckland, New Zealand, September 11th and 12th. And lastly, be sure not to forget about my Activating 5D Abundance 21-day journey, which you can also join for free if you are listening to this between the 21st and 27th of August. If not, that's okay. The link will still work. You can still access the course. I promise you it will be a powerful journey, which will help you shift into a higher level of abundance than you've ever experienced before. My friends, I'm sending you so much love, reminding you that I am you, and you are me, and we are we. Until next time.